Chicago. What's up, my people? Man, uh, call and call the radio sometime. It's, uh, it's, it's going on. Anyway, uh, uh, hanging out in the bars, uh, right in the back in the same neighborhood I grew up in. Uh, man, that was just unbelievable. And we swept the Astros. But every game was won by one run, I believe. Is Greg around, uh, Kathy? No, he, he, no, he got a new job, so he's working. Oh, he's at work today. Oh, well, okay, good. Yeah. Uh, anyway, uh, you know, he's a huge White Sox fan. Yeah, he's a huge White Sox fan, so, uh, you know, I'm sure he remembers every detail of those games. I mean, they were really intense. Well, uh, one, one game went 14 innings, I think. Yeah, anyway, uh, so, uh, go ahead. Yeah, I've been. Yeah, he's still a big fan. I think he keeps up with the games from out west. I've been right. a fan since I'm 16 years old. Yeah, I'm a fan. Yeah, me too. too. I, I worked there. I worked at Full Sodas and Pizza now when I was a kid there. It's uh, me and uh, Shady J, uh, aka uh, Smiley. Uh, so at the old committee. All right, now let me get back to the Katrina stuff. Now, eventually, I had to go back down and figure out what I was going to do with the house. They they opened the streets. They let us back into our homes, and when I got here, it was just you know completely destroyed. I couldn't even open the front door because the refrigerator had moved from the kitchen and was blocking the front door. Uh, uh, the couches, everything was pushed to the front door because when the water receded, it just pulled everything towards the front door. So you literally couldn't get in, uh, and it was super muddy. So we busted out all the windows just for aggression's sake and just to let it air out too. So the mud would all dry. But anyway, once I got started working on it, I needed help moving this refrigerator. And I'll never forget this Mexican dude. I needed some help. He was walking by. And I'm like, come on, you know, I'll give you some money. we got to lift up this fridge. And we go to lift it up, and he was very short. And the front doors of the refrigerator opened up, and they were so full of the most disgusting, stinkiest stuff you ever smelled in your life. And it poured all over him. He was so short that it hit him right in the face and poured all down his shirt and everything. And poor guy. <laughs> it was uh, hard not to laugh, actually. But it, <laughs> no, it was horrible. Uh, yeah, if he wasn't so short, you know, I wouldn't have went right on his face. It would have just got him, you know, below the, below his, you know, on his chest. But he got nailed. But he was cool about it. I gave him 20 bucks because he got drenched. <laughs> Mexican people showed up in droves after Katrina and helped this city recover. They did a lot of the dirty work. Let's not forget that. Mexican people are good people. Uh, we need to stop uh, fighting their rise in this country. Um, also, uh, then the most magical part of all, I signed up for a church group to come down and gut my house. And I didn't think it would ever happen. But one day they showed up with 25 young men and women, college-age men and women, and they gutted out my whole house for me it, in one day. It was unbelievably moving. Afterwards, they, were, they, they called themselves the Bells and the Bows. They were from Searcy, Arkansas, and they were the nicest people I've ever met in my life. After we were done, we all held hands in a circle, and I said a prayer, and I said thank you, and uh, it was very moving. And the leader of the uh, group said a prayer too. And there was there was actually people were were tearing up. Uh, when I said thank you so much, uh, you don't know what this means to me, and I'll never forget you. Uh, it made them feel good, and it made me feel good. And then once that was gutted, I I could see okay, I can fix this house because structurally it was sound. It was just destroyed, and and it, you know everything had to be gutted and replaced. Interesting story. Now, the kicker. I needed to fix the house. Well, I got the loan to get them to, to pay people to fix it. Now, I could have hired some contractor from some jerk off who I didn't know who, from Texas or Florida or something who come in here and they were ripping people off, actually. Uh, not all of them. There were plenty of good ones. Some of them were ripping people off, getting the money and disappearing. I wanted to hire my friends. I had a lot of money. I could pay them. It was winter in Chicago, well, when business for them is slow, they do construction. And they came down here, and six, in six weeks, fixed my entire house, 
and I'll never forget it. Um, they, we lived in my upstairs apartment on a jet, uh, no, I had uh, lines running, I finally got my steam trailer, and they, we had electric lines running to the apartment, and we were all cramped in two rooms. It was